I want to talk about one last option when creating an index, and that is whether or not you want to have it be backgrounded. By default, an index is created in the foreground in Mongo, and when it's created in the foreground, it blocks all other writers. If you want, you can run it in the background, in which case it won't block other writers. So, if you run it in the foreground, it's going to be faster. Foreground index creations are fast, but it's going to block writers. In Mongo 2.2 and above, there, are, there is a per database lock, so it will block writers only in the same database. On the other hand, if you prefer, you can use the background true option, in which case it'll be a bit slow, and sometimes as much as we've heard reports of anywhere from twice as slow to three to four or five times as slow. But writes can happen concurrently, does not block the writers. You can run one background creation at a time within a database. Now the question is, which one should you choose? Well, it depends on your situation, but if you're all by yourself and, and you're just working in development, is in a production system, pr pretty good chance you'd prefer to use a foreground index because it's going to be fast, and that's the default when you create an index. Ensure index, and then in the second document, background, you just leave background out and it'll be false by default, in which case it'll be running in the foreground. On the other hand, if you're running in a production system and you know that there are other writers to the same database, you basically have to run it in the background or you're going to block everyone else and that's going to be terrible. There is a way around that and we haven't gotten to it yet and it's kind of in the DBA zone. We're not going to talk a lot about it in this course. But if you are running in a replicated system, which is the way we recommend running production instances of Mongo, a replica set where you've got multiple instances of MongoD with the same data and they're all being kept in sync through replication, then it's possible if you want to get fast index creation that you can pull one of your servers out of the replica set and then the requests will only go to these two servers and while that's happening you can build the index here in the foreground where it's fast and then you can bring this this instance back into the replica set and it'll get updated so that that would be a way to run it in the foreground even on a production system and get great performance but not block your other writers but beyond that possibility you probably in a production system are going to run it, run it in the background and, and if you're just in development likely in the foreground. Okay, it is time for a quiz. Which things are true about creating an index in the background in MongoDB? Check all that apply. A MongoD instance can only build one background index at a time per database. Although the database server will continue to take requests, a background index creation still blocks the Mongo shell that you're using to create the index. Creating an index in the background takes longer than creating it in the foreground. In Mongo 2.2 and above, indexes are created in the background by default.